Hi, I'm Zach from Evo, and today we're talking goggles. The main things you want to look for in a pair of ski or snowboard goggles are the shape of the lens, the lens tint, and the fit of the frame. I'll also go over a few other features to look out for and give you some tips on taking care of your goggles and keeping them from fogging up. The most important part of the goggles is the lens. A good lens will bring extra definition to the mountain and help you see more clearly through any type of weather. There are three main types of goggle lens shapes, each with a different look and a slightly different visual effect. The traditional style is the cylindrical lens. Cylindrical lenses are flat vertically, but curved horizontally to wrap around your face. These lenses offer good performance at a nice price point, but more and more lately, this classic style is being offered with top-of-the-line features to rival the best spherical lenses on the market. Spherical lenses are curved both horizontally and vertically to create a bubbled look on your face. Aside from just looking cool, the extra curvature of spherical goggles allows for increased peripheral vision and less distortion. One of the latest innovations in goggle tech is the toric lens. Toric lenses are similar to spherical, but with a tighter curve horizontally, mirroring the shape of your face for a super wide field of view. No matter what shape of lens you go with, the feature you'll probably notice most day to day is the tint. Every goggle lens is designed with a certain base color and darkness. This darkness is expressed in a stat called VLT, which stands for visible light transmission. It's written as a percentage of light that the lens allows to pass through to the eye. So one of those sleep masks they give you on airplanes would have a VLT of zero, and those novelty frames with the nose and mustache attached would have a VLT of 100. But for skiing and snowboarding, somewhere in between is usually better. On bright and sunny days, Evo recommends a dark lens with a VLT of five to 20. For low light and flat light days, you'll want a brighter lens with a VLT of 60 to 90. There are also plenty of middle ground lenses for everyday riding and versatility that come in somewhere between 20 and 60, often in the 30 to 40 range. If you can only have one lens, you'll want to go with one of these or with the photochromic lens that changes tint depending on the conditions. Other than the shape and tint of the lens, what else should you look for? Most ski and snowboard goggles offer 100% UV protection to keep your eyes safe from the sunlight, a double lens to prevent fogging, and some kind of anti-fog coating on the lens. In addition to these must-haves, there are a few other features that can be really nice. Polarized lenses, just like you find on a lot of sunglasses, cut glare dramatically and allow for enhanced contrast, especially in super bright conditions. Also, practically every brand has their own line of premium lenses with vision enhancing properties. Some of the most notable examples of this are Prism from Oakley and Chromapop from Smith, both of which work to enhance color, contrast, and detail, allowing you to see more crisply than with standard lenses. As you can imagine, you're not going to want the same lens every day. And while you can technically swap out the lenses on any goggles, many come with a quick change lens system that makes the process super easy. Most goggles with quick change lenses come with one sunny day and one low light lens included in the box, giving you the widest range of versatility. Quick change lenses swap out either magnetically or mechanically. Either way, they're built to be super easy to change out in the parking lot or even on the chairlift as conditions are changing. Once you've decided on your lens type and tint, the next step is finding out what size frame you want. A good way to think about frame size is to reference the overall size of your head or the helmet you wear. If you wear a smaller helmet or are shopping for a younger person, look for goggles with smaller frames. Medium sized frames will fit most people and larger frames tend to fit, you guessed it, people wearing larger helmets. Everyone's face is different and no two people will fit a pair of goggles in exactly the same way. To make sure your goggles are a good fit, check the face foam and see if it follows the curvature of your face without any pressure points. Discomfort on your outer eye socket means the goggles are too narrow and gaps that can let in wind or snow are a sign that your goggles are too big. For flatter face shapes, some brands have introduced Asian fit, also known as alternative or low bridge fit, which features more foam on the bridge of the nose. When checking your goggles fit, make sure they work well with your helmet or beanie. 
Most goggles are helmet compatible and should fit smoothly on your face with the strap around the helmet and no sign of the dreaded gaper gap. With OTG goggles, your glasses shouldn't move inside the goggles and there should be no discomfort or pressure from the glasses on your nose or temples. Try them on together and make sure everything lines up securely, especially if you wear larger framed glasses. OTG or over the glasses goggles are designed to allow you to wear your prescription glasses underneath your ski and snowboard goggles. This is a great option for all you bespectacled folks out there and is way less expensive than getting a custom prescription lens. OTG goggles are deeper than regular and often have channels in the face foam for the arms of your glasses. One of the most common problems people have with their goggles is foggy lenses. So what can you do to keep your goggles from fogging up? First and foremost, a clear goggle is a well-ventilated goggle. So be sure to clear snow away from the vents if you take a digger and keep moving to maintain airflow. Putting your goggles on your forehead might seem convenient, but it's a surefire way to fog them up. So try to avoid this if you can. Personally, I've found the best way to keep my goggles from fogging is just to never take them off once I start riding. Sometimes you do your best and your goggles just fog up anyway. When this happens, you can try placing them in a warm, dry pocket of your jacket to equalize the temperature or shaking them up and down to create airflow. Also, consider carrying a second pair of goggles with you in case you need to swap out. Skiing without clear vision is one of the most frustrating ways to ruin your day and it can also turn you into a hazard on the slopes. In addition to keeping your goggles unfogged, here are a few other tips and tricks to help you get the longest life possible out of them. Try not to put them face down on tables or hard surfaces or ride through tree branches, which can scratch up the lenses. And never wipe the inside of the lens, which can remove the anti-fog coating. After every day on the mountain, leave your goggles up to dry thoroughly at room temperature, but not in direct sun or open heat. If shopping for goggles at evo.com, use the filters for lens type, frame size, lens condition, and lens tech as you navigate to find the best goggles for you. If you still need help, our experts love talking about gear. Visit us online, in store, or give us a call. We're happy to help. Subscribe to our channel and drop any questions in the comments here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you out there. And with your fancy new goggles, you'll see me too.